first to enter the den is David Hellard. <sighs> See you in a bit, Debs. His aim? To put some added pep in Deborah Meaden and everyone else's step. <sighs> We're all about energising Britain. Let's go. We're the difference between someone going for a workout or not or getting a new personal best, and I think that's an inspiring message for the Dragons to get on board with. David has a plan which he hopes could help his product conjure up interest in the den. I've got a few tricks up sleeve for the Dragons. Hopefully a little bit of charm and a bit of humour will go a long way as well. If you want to work out, but your energy's too low, caffeine bullet, caffeine bullet. It kicks faster than gels, energy drinks from a can. It makes you strong and tough like a superhuman. Hello, dragons. My name's David Hellard, and I'm here today to ask for £60,000 for 5% of my business, caffeine bullet. Each packet has four energy chews with 100 milligrams of caffeine in, about the same as a decent-sized cup of coffee. I love to run. I've raced across the world, from Afghanistan to Somaliland. What was that, Stephen? How did I do? That's a great question. I've won marathons on three continents, and whenever I race, I rely on caffeine to give me an extra kick. The caffeine's absorbed as you chew, so they kick up to three times faster than energy gels, caffeine pills and energy drinks, which could be the difference between winning and losing, which is why we say there's a personal best in every packet. We launched three years ago, and last year, turnover was 230,000 and a net profit of 63,000. If you'd like to look inside your boxes, if you have a packet of shoes, I'd also love to hear any questions, so please try away. A high energy pitch from marathon man David Hellard, who's seeking £60,000 in exchange for 5% of his caffeine chew company. Tuka Suleiman is quickest out of the blocks with the questions. David, good pitch, fun, to the point. How did you come across this venture? I came up with the idea for Caffeine Bullet, racing across the Sahara Desert. I was trying to be the first Brit in that race. And I know from my experience in running already that elite athletes will buy this from us because it's that much better than anything that exists at the moment. David, I'm trying to work out how big this opportunity is. Yeah. How many people in the market that you want to attack are exercising at that top level that they would need a product like this? Sure. I'm going to imagine, for most people, 20 minutes, half an hour of exercise, maybe a day, or maybe every few days, might be where they're at. So if you are exercising for two minutes, five minutes, doing a 5K, 100 metres, or at the gym, all of these people can use caffeine and do use caffeine. But the big sell for us is the difference between having one of these and not having one is having the motivation to go to the gym or to go for a run. Because if you don't have caffeine in your system, you've got to rely on your own motivation. Have one of these and you're fired up again. OK, and have you opened a packet like this and eaten all of them? No, I, I certainly wouldn't advise that. But what happened if I opened that packet and then ate all of them? You'd get a, a huge rush, I've but it wouldn't be life-threatening. I've eaten three. Let's say... Oh, oh my I... goodness. How many have you eaten, Tuka? I've eaten three. <laughs> You're joking. Yeah, I wouldn't eat any more, Tuka. I'm... I think that's enough now. They're not sweets. Well, you see what you've done, David? You see what you've done? <laughs> oh, wow. Proof in the pudding. Yeah. David's caffeine chews have certainly got the dragon's hearts pounding, though not, perhaps, in the way he was intending. Now... A fitness-conscious Stephen Bartlett wants to find out more about what sets his product apart from the competition. Every time I go to the gym, which yeah. is um, pretty much every day, I take a pre-workout before I go, which is a very nice-tasting shot of caffeine, and it achieves the effect that you're describing. I feel fired up, I work a little bit longer in the gym. 
What's the difference between me taking that pre-workout and taking one of these chews? One of them is that this kicks faster. Are you sure? Yeah, absolutely. Are you sure that this kicks faster than something that's liquid? Yes, because the liquid still has to go through your stomach. Right. Whereas this is absorbed as you chew. Um, it's buccal absorption and also in the throat. And how are your customers finding you? Some of it is Amazon, but actually, because these are used in gyms and in social settings and in a race, when someone sets a new personal best, they love to tell the world because they're understandably proud. And we're part of that story because we're the difference between getting that goal and not. So actually, we're very viral. Do you, do you know if that's true? I know that's true because I can see it on Instagram. You know, I know all about your background and I would absolutely love to work with you because your experience in how to use influencers. Is that just Stephen you want to work with or? I, I, yes. Genuinely, yes. I all think you're fantastic. Just say you've it, got, say it. All, you've all got huge experience far more than I have. Tuka's great on supply chain. I think obviously Deborah's got the environmental impact and the products. As does Peter and the IT and you're fantastic at products Ooh, as well. five of us. So if all five of you wanted to come on board, I would absolutely be up for that. Just calm your caffeine down a bit. Just calm your caffeine down. Sorry, Deborah. Yeah, how, how many chews did he have? <laughs>He's eager for an investment from all or any of the dragons. But is David in danger of running before he can walk in the den? Deborah Meaden is keen to slow things down by unwrapping some info about his product's wrapping. You, you appear to have changed packaging between those two. Oh, we changed again, actually. So what's the changes on the new packaging that we haven't seen? Is it still shiny packaging? It's still shiny packaging. Is it still... Yeah. And is, what is this made of? It's made of plastic at the moment, I'm afraid. Um, and that's something and that... it's not recyclable, then? It's no, not recyclable. It's not. And that's something I'd like to address. OK. You did a fantastic job telling all of the dragons why they were going to contribute to your business. But actually, looking at me and saying, and your environmental stuff, when really it's not your priority, but also, kind of narrowing my contribution down to that, that is... Apologies. I've yeah, got a, a is, huge amount of you know, experience in products, yeah, into, yeah. so apologies. Whatever, but it, but it was the wrong thing to say. So for that reason, I won't be investing, I'm out. OK, thank you, Deborah. David has lost his first investor as Deborah Meaden takes a dim view of his dragon-specific sales pitch. Tuka Suleiman's caffeine kick appears to have worn off, but has the prospect of securing a slice of this entrepreneur's business kept his pulse racing? I'm going to tell you where I stand. I think, you know, working with you would be a lot of fun. Unfortunately, you've come here with a wrong business for me. I think the price nice, I, I enjoyed it, but it doesn't give me that oomph that I want to invest after taking three already. So I wish you all the best, but on this occasion, I'm out. OK, thank you, Tiga. David, the thing I want to understand is, is this protectable? Do you have any protection? What's going to stop Deborah from putting some caffeine into a different flavoured chew? We don't have it protected. Someone could do it, but we launched three years ago, so we have quite a strong first mover position. So you've got a first mover position, however, that's three years now established, which means that the rest of the world who might be interested in this should have noticed what you were doing, and if they felt there was a commercial opportunity, they would have been second mover or third mover. However, I think despite that, it's still a great business, and I, I think I'd still like to back you, so I'm going to make you an offer. I'll offer you all of the money, but I would be looking in return for 25% of the business. A £60,000 offer for David, albeit for five times more equity than he was originally looking to give away. Is Stephen Bartlett prepared to make a race of it by matching or even bettering Sarah Davies' bid? 
I think your product is really, really quite early in the journey it's going to go on in its development and its brand. And so when you encounter a presentation or a pitch from an entrepreneur who is a little bit early and is still ironing out the kinks, the thing you go to is whether I trust you as an entrepreneur to figure those things out. And I do. So for that reason, I am going to make you an offer. I'm going to offer you all the money for 25% of the business. I, I really like it. I think from a retail perspective and, and my team, obviously, we very much focus on not just food products, but placement into the major supermarkets. Yeah. And you clearly, with your bullet Superman outfit, I'm sure that you're, you're work like a bullet anyway, um, trying to get the business to work. So I'm going to make you an offer. Uh, I'm going to offer you all of the money but I'm going to do it for 20%. Wow. Um... And I, I also say this, and I am willing to share that with Stephen, because there is one thing that I am not good at. I was even getting lessons last night on how to use Instagram properly from Stephen. And that's why I think that maybe the complementary aspect of this could work really well for you and this brand. Uh, wow. Um, well, thank you. Um, <laughs> so I hadn't really expected this. Um, uh, Stephen, is that on the table as well? I would do that with Peter at 25%, but you have to give me your answer within 10 seconds. Oh, no, 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 that's not fair. That's not on. It's my money. Oh, well, it's your OK. And if... I return your money, would you come down to 10% each? Yes, within 24 months. 24 months? I'd be happy with that. Sarah, I think you're incredible, but I'm sorry, it's two dragons who... Um... Two dragons with dirty play <laughs> Bob David, is what it is. Have we, got, have we got a deal? I'd love to accept that deal. Amazing. Ah, <laughs> uh, well done, we're done. <laughs> I just got an extra two and a half percent. You did? Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done, David. It's victory for David. Thank you very much, guys. Who crosses the finish line with £60,000 and the backing of a duo of dragons with the expertise to leave the competition lagging miles behind. Two dragons for the price of one. Nothing kicks like caffeine bullet. Yeah! Good tactic to give the time limit. You little that sword. That was really good. Yeah. That's the sort of stuff I expect from Jones, not you. Yeah.